Luke Combs called Love It On You. On sunny 101.9, 29 minutes past 8 o'clock, and a good morning to you. Got the sunshine, we're at 67 degrees. Welcome this morning, it's time to uh, check a check. It's uh, Okay, there we go. It's uh, Dakota College at Bodno uh, here uh, this time this morning here on Sunny 101.9. I've got Linda Burbage with me on the uh, phone this morning. And Linda, a good morning to you. Good morning. How are you today? I am doing great. How are you? Uh, fantastic. Like you said, sun is shining and it's a, it's a fantastic morning. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. So, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about, well, first of all, you're from the Ag uh, Management and Technology area of the college. Tell us a little bit yes. about that. So we're a, we're a new program. We were new, brand new last year, so this is our second year, and we're really excited at the growth we've seen um, over the last year, especially, you know, in spite of everything that's gone on with COVID. Um, we're more than doubled in our enrollment since last year at this time, which is great. That's fantastic. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I've still got, I've got lots more students who have been calling, inquiring about the program, even for enrolling in the fall, so... I'm hoping we'll maybe hit double digits this year. Okay. So being a new program, then you, are classes new then? You got new venue or new yeah. uh, new things you're we, uh, putting out there? Yeah, we do. We have some new classes this semester, uh, different from previous semesters. And um, one of them in ag is agricultural management. So we basically, we it's geared towards students who are looking to go back to uh, the farm and work on the farm. And so we help them understand what, what should you be setting up for farm records, um, bookkeeping, things like that. But then also, how do you get more out of those um, financial records? So how do you use them to make decisions and different things like that to help them along the way? Okay. So lots of, lots of fun book work. <laughs> okay. okay. Because farming has actually changed quite a bit from... 20, 10, 5 years ago, farming has changed quite a bit. You have to learn oh, yeah. new skills all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and technology is changing. Of course, you know, now you get so much data from um, precision egg and all sorts of things like that. So it's, it's a matter of, you know, how do you want to use that? How can you leverage that data? And that's, that's a really important uh, thing to let people know. If they want to use it, they should be able to use it and it should help them make better decisions. Okay. Now, so. as as part of the new uh, farm program, uh, and uh, you have a new class coming up this fall, um, we see mm -hmm. and are hearing a lot about uh, uh, unmanned aircraft, they call it, or drones. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about how that's fitting into the program. Yeah, so we are, we are actually launching this new certificate of completion, and... Um, it ties into ag pretty well because of, like I mentioned before, all this precision ag that's been going on. So now more and more you'll, you might see people out checking crops using their drones. And so we're offering, we're going to start uh, offering about five new, five new classes. We've got two new ones for this semester coming. So they'll be, they'll be focused on UAS and, and using drones. So uh, one of them is just basically an introductory course. We're going to talk a little bit about the history of drones and applications of drones, not just for ag, but for other things as well. And, you know, how do you decide, you know, what drone is going to be right for what I want to do with it? And then we'll also get some practice flying. We have, we actually have a, a program that's a flight simulator. So students will get to um, actually kind of like play video games <laughs> instead of doing traditional homework <laughs> we'll get we'll get to you know fly on the flight simulator and, and get some practice and then we have a lab coming up with that kind of in conjunction where they'll actually we'll take some drones out and go flying so we received a grant and we're able to purchase some drones um, so we can actually go get some real world flight experience Okay, so, so to, in order to take the class and you don't actually have to have a drone, you can, you can no, utilize no. yours. Yep, absolutely. So it's great for, it's really, it's going to be a great certificate or great classes for anyone who is just interested in drones. Even if you're not interested in ag, but you, you kind of want to learn more about it as a hobbyist or, uh, you know, maybe it's related to your industry somehow because there are so many applications for drones right now. Okay. Um, 
Go ahead. I was just going to say. So, so oh. what you're saying is you don't necessarily have to be really uh, be ag intensified or ag centered no. to be able to take this class. Then. No, no, certainly not. I mean, we'll we'll talk about some of those things, but we're going to talk about the whole spectrum to start off with, and then next spring I think we'll have a couple of ag focused courses around drones. Okay. But really, we wanted we wanted to offer some classes that might interest anyone on campus or really anyone in the community because there's such a wide range of applications for drone use. So for example, even like search and rescue efforts now use drones from time to time. And you'll, you'll see that, um, you'll see that in the news right. too. So um, th- these classes then, uh, let's say I'm coming in from the outside, whether I'm interested in ag or not, want to take these classes, what do they consist of? Is it uh, five days a week or is it a lot online or how does that work? Um, well, right now we don't have any of them online, um, but we do have, uh, for this semester, our intro is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's going to be at 1 o'clock from 1 to 2. So that'll be a simple three-credit course. And then our flight lab is going to be just the first eight weeks of the semester. Uh, we're hope- Hopefully we're going to capitalize on some good flying weather <laughs> earlier in the, in the fall before right. it gets to too nasty outside, but that's going to meet Tuesday, Thursday from 11 to 12.40. Okay. All right. Yeah. So just a little tiny slice out of your day then, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. But hopefully um, we'll get some actual, you know, mission, drone missions for students to fly in the lab so they can kind of get a little real world experience about, you know, the whole process from from setting up the project to, you know, making sure the airspace is safe for them to fly in where it is they're going and then, you know, ultimately completing completing the flight. Okay. Do you get into the legality of uh, registering them and things like that as well, or do you? Oh, yeah, we'll be doing some of that. And actually next semester in the spring we're planning on offering um, a prep for uh, students that want to uh, take the uh, FAA Part 107 exam. So. To fly certain types of drones or to fly drones commercially, you need to be uh, registered um, with the FAA to do that. And so you need to pass the aeronautical knowledge exam. So we're going to have some course prep on that. So we'll get into the legalities a little bit and, you know, how heavy does your drone need to be or how heavy is too heavy before, um, you know, you need to start asking for, you know, special special permission from the FAA to fly. So. Okay. Those are the sorts of things we'll cover. All right. Well, fantastic, Linda. Anything else you'd like to add this morning? Um, I guess just to say, you know, we're really excited about this program, and so if anyone is interested, and they can certainly get in touch with me, um, they can call me at 228-5442, or they can certainly um, just go to our website, uh, dakotacollege.edu and, and search for AG. You won't see much about UAS up there yet, but you'll find all my contact information and I can certainly uh, let you know a little bit more about the program if you're interested. All right. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us this morning. Uh, Linda, I appreciate you being here. Linda, that's Linda Burbage from the uh, Agricultural Management and Technology area of Dakota College at Botno. And uh, thank you so much. Have yourself You're a, welcome. Have yourself a wonderful day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right. Bye now. Linda Burbage for us this morning here on uh, Sunny 101.9 from uh, Dakota College at Botno. Fantastic to talk to her and get that knowledge about the uh, agricultural management and technology program and the drone situation. Sounds like a lo- actually a lot of fun, something fun to do, uh, even if you're not going to use it for ag. All right. Hey, uh, what we're going to do is uh, a little bit later on this morning, I'll be talking with uh, Kelly Beaver about what's happening with the big car show this coming uh, weekend for the Chamber of Commerce. That comes your way at about uh, 9.30 this morning. But first of all, we're going to check out the latest in seven-day forecast information. That is brought to you by Drive Chevrolet Buick in Botno. Free 50-inch flat screen TV. When you save money on brand new 2019 closeouts at Drive Chevrolet Buick in Botno. Chevrolet Buick 